Hello. Today's devotional can be found in Jacob chapter 2, verse 19. And after ye obtain a hope in Christ, ye shall obtain riches. If ye seek them, and ye will seek them for the intent to do good, to clothe the naked, and to feed the hungry, and to liberate the captive, and administer relief to the sick and the afflicted. Alright. So there's nothing wrong with being rich in a temporal sense. There's like nothing wrong with it so long as you use it for the right things. I mean, there are people who just have loads of money but they don't do anything but waste it on frivolous pursuits. If you're gonna seek after wealth, you should seek after wealth with the intent of helping people and with the intent of making the world a better place. But you know what? You can be rich in Christ. You can find hope in Christ. You can find eternal riches in Christ. And that is a nourishing truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is a nourishing truth that can be brought unto all the world. And should be brought unto all the world. Because there is much hope in the atonement of Christ. It's because of the atonement of Christ that we have a reason to be righteous. We have a reason to do good. We have a reason to care about those who are in need of our help, who are in need of clothes, food, freedom, help, love, and medicine. As I said, there's nothing wrong with having temporal wealth. But as with the spiritual wealth we get from the knowledge of Jesus Christ, it's important to use the wealth wisely. Use it to benefit other people because as the gospel of Jesus Christ can spiritually nourish people and give them hope in their eternal future, so can temporal wealth help people attain the basic needs of life because not everyone has access to them as freely as we do. And, and there's nothing wrong with having money, but you shouldn't use it all for yourself. Like, if you have an excess amount, you should use it to help others, because others would help you if you were in the same situation. And having been in a situation where I've had very little money, I understand this to be true. People care about other people. But unfortunately, I don't know, people get wrapped up in greed and conceitedness and they don't remember that God grants people the ability to make money that they may help others because we're all children of God and we all need to help each other. Because without helping each other, how can we make the world a better place? We have that whole opportunity to help each other spiritually and help each other temporally. So let's not be afraid to do that. What better way to spend riches than to share them, and thereby benefiting others? It's the best way to spend riches, in my opinion. But seek to do good however you can, even if you're not rich. For that is what Christ did. and encourages us to do daily, but it's all up to us what we wish to do because we have the freedom to choose. We are free to choose what we seek after and what we seek to do with the opportunities that the Atonement has given us. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.